Since its founding in 1976, Specialized Bicycles has been a force of innovation in the world of cycling, from road bikes and mountain bikes to e-bikes and beyond. We visited their innovation lab in Morgan Hill, California to sneak a peek into their process and catch a glimpse of what's next for the brand. What is the next generation bike? Well, contrary to popular belief, bikes are actually really complicated. And so whether you're trying to get to work without sweating or just hitting the finish line a fraction of a second faster than a competitor, there's always something that we can improve, whether it's the wind tunnel or carbon innovation lab, there is always something where we can push further forward. Instead of sending designs and prototypes to factories overseas, the Innovation Lab allows Specialized to physically test all products on site, allowing for rapid iteration. How does having this shop here in the building help you with innovation? It speeds it up. Having this shop allows us to go through and make components that might not have been possible before or really reduce the amount of time it takes to make some of these complex prototypes for mountain bikes or for road bikes. With this component right here, we would have had to outsource this and it would have taken about a month to get this prototype back. Okay. Now, with these capabilities in-house, we would get this done in a matter of days and we'd be able to test it just right after that in this facility. So we've drastically reduced the amount of time it takes to make a component like this. Welcome to the Composites Lab. This is the engineer's playground where we turn crazy ideas into realities. We have this in-house so our engineers can actually touch and play with the composites that they're telling the factories to build out of. You learn so much when you can actually physically touch and make parts that you don't necessarily understand when you're sitting behind a computer all day. That designer comes to you with a sketch. What's your next step? Next step is to turn it into a mold. Mold modifications can take weeks in our factories and over here, they can do it in a day. I can fail one day and the next day be trying again. Specialized prides itself on pushing the boundaries of bicycle innovation. Through speedy engineering, they can respond to their failures quicker and stay ahead of the curve. What is this place? So this is our very own sport-specific wind tunnel. Okay. It's where we test all our bikes and equipment and we test our Olympians and world champion athletes as well. And what do you measure here? Well, all the crazy shapes that we saw get formed in Carbon Composites Lab, this is really where we figure out how much of an aerodynamic benefit do they actually offer. But it's more than just that. It's not just about speed. We also test how do we make a helmet cool better? How do we make clothing ventilate better? How do we make even a rain fender cover better? So you have rain in here? Oh, uh, we have a little bit of a slip and slide. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds dangerous. How fast does it get? Uh, at the maximum, we'll get up to about 70 miles an hour. Man. So what does 70 miles an hour feel like? You wanna find out? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. So this is a test lab, and this is really the last step of our innovation process. This is where we find out whether our products will survive. So you're stress testing here all the designs that you've put through every other room in this innovation lab. That's right, and we test everything above and beyond industry standards. So we'll take it to destruction, but we'll also test things for fatigue, where we run 10 plus hours, hundreds of thousands of cycles to make sure everything lasts a lifetime of riding. So it passes the test, what happens next? Well, the proof is really when the rubber hits the road. So we kit up and we go ride. So this is your, your final stage. You're out on the road, we're actually out. Yeah, I mean, these are all the roads and trails that we ultimately test on. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what all the lab tests and numbers say if our riders aren't having a great experience. The bike's been around for over 100 years. Yeah. And you guys are iterating and probably at a faster rate than you ever have. Like, yeah. where are you headed? What's the bike of the future? We believe that the bike is still truly the greatest human powered vehicle on Earth. And so with that, and with all the different experiences that people can have on the bike, we believe there's still a lot left on the table, to be honest and innovation is in our DNA, so we're gonna get after it.